Hey folks, today is June the 5th. It's currently 7.13 in the afternoon. We're going to look at doing our Titan G7 week number 11 update review. And let's scroll up here and see exactly what happened this week. As I mentioned previously, they've already removed the uh, old Titan EA. So that's nowhere even available for us to trade. All right, so it looks like what was the first day of the week here? All right, so the first was the first day of the week. And it looks like we closed last week out with $183 in profit. And this week, we closed out with $240 in profit. So we definitely uh, had a profitable week. And we have, looks like $10.91 going into the weekend. Of course, we'll check the VPS just to verify everything that FX Blue is showing us. All right, let's uh, check real quick and see if we had any updates. All right, so as we can see here, we had a few updates. This is Sunday, I believe, May 31st. Yeah. All right, the end of week 10 Titan G7 recap video was just posted. We'll also go over that momentarily to see what their uh, results were for this week. All right, this is something about the five-star VPS. If you're no longer using it they basically just want you to let them know so that they can remove it from from your server all right let's see what they said here recently want to know our internal process for finding developing the best trading systems on the planet okay so basically they're just uh, marketing their YouTube video here which is perfectly fine all right let's see what we had this week in terms of news I know this was non-farm payroll week and a lot of times people will shut their EA down because of that. But uh, as usual, I just let the EA run. And I'll check the uh, stats momentarily in the VPS and we'll see uh, how that went. All right. So as you can see here, Monday, June 1st, 10 a.m. ISM Manufacturing PMI, so U.S. Trade, Australian Cash Rate, Australian GDP. All right. ADP Non-Farm Employment Change. All right. So we did have a few... Uh, trades that would impact the markets this week ism non-manufacturing pmi let's see here on thursday usd unemployment claims and then friday of course we had non-farm payroll and also canadian unemployment rate and employment change so definitely quite a few items this week that could have uh impacted our trading all right let me pull up the uh, vps and we'll see actually what happened all right, here's the VPS we have pulled up. And if I can uh, get this to go down, it should show that we have about $10 going into the weekend. All right, so we got $11.31 going into the weekend. But you can see here our balance is currently $740.22. I believe last week's balance was like $720 or somewhere around there. So we definitely did make a profit this week I'll check on last week's uh, totals here momentarily let's come in here and take a look and see what trades were taken and we'll scroll up to the first which is right here and again the first was Monday all right so we actually took quite a few losses on Monday but we had this nice uh, ten dollar win and a few other large winners there they kind of looks like they kind of counteracted those losses that we took let's keep on scrolling down here I really want to get down to uh, today to Friday so we can see if non-farm payroll had any major impact on what uh, on our profits this week but as you can see lots of uh, smaller wins and then a few of the larger losses but definitely we had more wins than losses this week which really helped us out all right, we got a string of losses here. Let's see what day this was, 6-4. All right, so that was yesterday, Thursday. And that's kind of where we're at right now. And this is a Friday. As you can see, we took one, two, three, four losses today. But again, the back testing that they show in the uh, um, GP or the Titan G7 back office and also on the uh, uh, information page, it's basically where you don't turn off the EA at all. You don't close trades. And you don't um, turn it off on Fridays to 
uh, avoid non-farm payroll. So that's kind of what I'm trying to do because there are going to be times when non-farm payroll goes against us. And this just might be one of those times where, as you can see, we hit a string of losses here. But there are also going to be times where non-farm payroll goes uh, in our direction. So I'm not trying to uh, guess what's going to happen or anything like that. I'm just going to let the EA do what it does and what it's been proven to do through back testing for, um, I believe it was a, a great many years from what I recall. I don't remember exactly how many. But all right, let me uh, pause it and we'll check and see what our closeout was for last week. All right, let's take a look here and see exactly where we uh, closed out last week. As you guys can see, our balance last week was $728 with equity of $702. And we're currently at $740, I believe it was. Let me scroll back down here just to double check that. Let's see. Nope. That's regular Titan. All right, so as you can see here, $740.22. And equity seven twenty nine dollars and uh, thirty one cents. So we definitely did make a okay little profit this week. And as you can see here, weekly return is showing three point eight percent. For some reason, FX Blues uh been off for quite some time here, so I don't really uh, pay too much attention to the stats that they give. All right, let's go ahead and check in the Facebook group here. Let me go ahead and refresh the page, and we'll see what some of the other people have done this week. All right, as you can see, we're set to newest. See most recent post. All right, let's go to the most recent post first. All right, non-farm payroll was crazy last night. Are you going to close trades and turn off auto trading before non-farm payroll in the future or no? All right, let's see here. Five-day blue wave. I do apologize. It's been a bit since I posted, but I have to say this week, has been a great week after the downhill run that was May. June is starting to uh, turn around with a five-day profit of $561. I definitely can't complain. Best part is I didn't have to do a thing. All right, beautiful. And, of course, he showed us exactly how he's done. All right, so lots of trades closed out. 20, 40, 60, 70, profit 561, 29. Very nice. And, of course, we have to add our disclaimer. Mine should be up here in the right-hand corner. All right, let's check this one out. $7,000 in profit. Wow. Equity, $80,000. All right, full automatic, no touching, duration, one month. Please ignore that 18K profit. That's through my own trading with 4G7 on this account. I have no idea why it's showing there. Disclaimer, it's a risky business. All right, let's see exactly what he's uh, talking about here. All right, so profit loss, $7,365. Very nice. All right, here's one from yesterday. Started in early May with 1,000 euros when the Great Titan G7 depression started, and I lost around 11%. Two days ago, I deposited 6 k after the month of May was over so I can start recovering faster. And I have to say that I'm not disappointed. My balance less than 72 hours ago was 6.8K. And today is sitting at 7.2K. Titan G7 not only made up for the losses and has put me 200 euros in profit, but it's also teaching me patience. All right. Very nice. Like I said, guys, when uh, things go good, a lot of people are more forthcoming with their results, which is kind of to be expected. All right, very happy with G7 today. Nearly $4,200 in profit between my four accounts. More than made back for the small loss that occurred last month. All right. I love how G7 gives you a slight edge in the market using LQDFX. Two accounts, 0.01 per 1,000 risk, and the second account is 0.01 per 750 risk. All right, as we can see here, profit 1811 why are you winning so big with only 1800 Let me see what he says about that. Oh, okay, yeah, there's a much bigger balance than 1800 Sorry, I was confused. Okay. Let's keep on scrolling down. But, yeah, as you guys can see, people are definitely doing good to start off the week of, or the month of June. Officially a week now, seeing some amazing results from Titan G7, having a great start, 
Settings are 0.01 per 750. I've experienced very low drawdown too, which is very comforting. All right, 10.15%. Very nice. As you can see here, this week, 2.54%. All right, that's their YouTube video. All right, so I've been using Titan G7 since last Tuesday, and I've nearly doubled my money on default settings without touching it. That is crazy. Is it because my initial deposit was very low? Let me see what people were saying down here. Awesome. Yeah, definitely because your deposit is so low. That's pretty risky, I would say, but hey, that's fun. Also, could you please add a disclaimer? Okay, yeah, he put it up there. All right. Yes, because of the small balance, lowest lot size of 0 0.01, your risk is actually huge per trade, but you double your money. All right, let's keep on scrolling down here. $6,000 profit. Crazy, crazy. Suggestion, never touch your G7. Let it do its thing if it misbehaves. Turn off auto trader. Take the losses like a man or woman and move on. P.S. I'm running as per 80,000 equity, but just put in the balance I'm willing to risk per 1,000. Uh, Okay. Guys, please read the post again. The settings and profit loss are per 80,000 equity. The FX book stats above you see are per 10K equity approximately. All right. I think this is who I'm looking for. All right. Now that we've gone through a lot of the other members, let's go ahead and take a look and see what one of the admins accounts looks like. And let me see here. Google Sheets back testing. Link to my G7 account. Here it is. We'll take a look at that. And he also has several demo accounts, but let's check this out first. All right. So today, just like me, he had several losing trades. You guys can see there. Ended the week at 1.21%. Not bad at all. And we can come down here and take a look at some of his demo accounts that he's uh, running as well. This demo account is doing terribly. Risk, this is a 2% risk test. We're not using those settings. And this is a demo, oh, this is a 0 0.01 per thousand. This is a, one of the new settings and that's 2.2%. 0 0.01 per 500, again, 2.17%. So definitely those that are using the new trade management stuff are doing a lot better all right, this week gain was 10.7%. All right, so overall, it looks like everybody uh, had a good week this week. Lots of members trading uh, real money, doing extremely well. Hopefully, the rest of the month will continue to go as well as uh, this week did. All right, I think that's everything I wanted to touch on. If you guys have any questions on the Titan G7, don't hesitate to uh, post them in the comments below, and I'll try to find the answer. And if you want to get more information, make sure you click the link below this video or the one on my website. Hope you guys have a great weekend, and I'll see you on the 12th for our next weekly update review. Take care, folks.